Okay, so here we are, and this object has it. So you hit Command, Option I. We're going to pull up our window. We click this object up in the corner. This is just basically how to use Web Developer. You click on the object, and we're looking at it, and it's like, okay, there's a video player here. Um, so let's look at the code. And this says with full screen, and it's just part of the class. This is the object itself, and it just says background URL. This is with full screen. This is probably the call. Mm -hmm. So. Here we go. I would look at it with full screen and then come over here and we're going to go over to the other one and look at the same code. This one says no full screen. No full screen. So now let's go over and look at this particular one. I'm going to duplicate this tab. And log in. Actually, you want to do this inside of. Um, here we go. So, this is probably a post, right? This is a post. Maybe vegetable. There we go. Vegetable printing. Let's take a look at the code on the page. Let's take a look at this one. Apple bird feeder. This one has this object inside of it. It has this additional statement. So to me, I'm going to look for this width and height mm -hmm. and put that there. So basically, where's my better search and replace? So what have I done so far? Um so far you pulled stuff from um sorry I'm now just following you. Um you've been looking at the different videos and looking for what code is missing in the one that we're trying to make full screen. Is that correct? It is correct. Yeah. Three hundred cells have that height width and height in it without that object inside of it. So if I were to run this for real now, which I'm going to do, it's going to update three hundred cells inside of the these tables, post, meta, and post. And these are this is where most of the data mm. is in a WordPress website. Okay. 
So then this just does it all at once? This is going to do it all at once. Oh, that's awesome. So now it's done. Mm. So now whatever one doesn't have it, vegetable printing. should have it now it's okay oh you can't you can't see it yeah we won't be able to see it because it's in staging so then now we have to go to the live WP admin and push it from staging to live mm -hmm. You have to actually write it very particularly. <laughs> okay. And then you just close it because that window will never close, and then hopefully. It it will deploy quickly. Okay. Usually it, I get mail right away. This stuff deploys. Look, it's there. Yay! That's so exciting. <laughs> Right. So what we did yeah. is we looked at the objects, we compared them to objects that worked, we looked at the code, we compared the code, then we looked at where it was embedded at inside of WordPress, we compared the code there, and then from that place we were able to retrieve a string, and we created mm -hmm. this. We, we realized that because we were looking for objects of this size, we could add these additional parameters at the end mm -hmm. of the object, and that's how we solved it quickly to the point and then we push it from staging to life brilliant thank you Watson thank you thank you Watson <laughs>